Yeah, that's me. And what I want to do right now is I want to give you my Money in the Bank predictions. Okay, first we have Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans for the Raw Women's Championship. In my opinion, who fucking cares who wins this match? Neither one of, neither, that title shouldn't even exist at all. Okay. Next we have Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles for the Universal Championship. If I had to pick a winner, I'd say AJ Styles. And by the way, guys, I still believe that title is cursed. Next we have the Money in the Bank ladder match for the world for a world championship match contract. Sami Zayn, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, Finn Balor, Andre, Andre, or Randy Orton. If I if I had to pick one, I guess I'd go with Randy Orton. Consider the fact that when he started in WWE, it was during the Ruthless Aggression Era, I guess. That'd be about the best way I could figure. Next, we have the Money in the Bank ladder match for a women's championship match contract. Natalia versus da Dana Brooks versus Naomi versus Bailey versus Mandy Rose versus Ember Moon versus Carmella versus who knows versus an un versus a to be announced. If I had to pick one of those, I guess I'd have to go with Natalia. I guess. I guess I'd have to go with Natalia, considering that she is the daughter of. Of the late great Jim the Anvil Nightheart. Next we have Roman Roman Shitstain versus Elias. In this match, I don't give a fuck what happens to either one of them. To tell you the truth. Next we have a match for the SmackDown Women's Championship: Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. I hate to say it, but I gotta go with Charlotte Flair because think about it, she's the daughter of of one of the greatest superstars that has ever wrestled in this business, Ric Flair. Yep. Next we have a steel cage match, the Miz versus Shane McMahon. Or should I say the Jizz versus Shane McMahon? I don't give I don't care that I said I don't care that I said that. And I'm going to have to pick Shane McMahon. Why, you may ask? <clears throat> the reason why I'm picking Shane McMahon is because he has the because he has the experience factor over the Jizz that, well, the Jizz ain't got, ain't got, he just don't have, you know? Uh, let's see. Next we have a match for the WWE title, Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens. In my opinion, don't care. I don't personally care who wins this match because neither one of these neither one of those guys are worth a damn. Next we have a match for the United States Championship. Samoa Joe defends against Rey Mysterio. I'm gonna have to pick Rey Mysterio. Because he's been there longer. Yeah, let's see, and that would be on the pay-per-view shows, and on the pre and on the pre-show, there's going to be a match for the tat for the WWE Cruiserweight title, Tony Nese versus Arian Davari. My opinion, don't care, don't really care who wins. <sighs> And also on the pre-show, we're going to have a tag match. Daniel Bryan and, Ro and Eric Rowan versus the Usos. Really? You're going to put Daniel Bryan on the pre-show. Consider the fact he was the WWE Champion at going into WrestleMania. WWE, are you fucking nuts? In my opinion, Money in the Bank, what am I giving it? As of now? Exactly. A letter grade? F.
for failed. For failure. Which is what WWE is right now. Failure. Alright. So guys, that's my that's my thoughts on the Money in the Bank on the Money in the Bank pay-per-view itself. Alright.